Uh, hi everyone, this is Yukti Belwal and right now I'm in Kyiv uh, in Taras Sevchenko uh, National University's uh, Dean Office and with me is Ms. Oksana who is the Vice Dean of Information, Analytics and Information as she told me. So we were discussing about uh, the students, Indian students are here uh, from past two years and you know how they are doing in the university and how was her experience with our students because last year uh, Bookma University sent uh, approximately uh, 45 students students here for studying medicine so we just want to know that how good they are doing in this university and what is your feedback about Indian students well um, I can say that I am the first person they meet when they uh, come to Ukraine because mm -hmm. I am responsible for issuing the invitation letters and of course I communicate them via uh, email after the, after they come to Ukraine mm -hmm. but uh, the first place they go is the preparatory department where they apply their documents and uh, my colleagues and I uh, we meet them here and uh, well um, I think that their first contact probably um, in the university yeah, the first point us. of contact with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why. Right. Yeah. Uh, so they apply their, uh, their documents here. We are also responsible for um, issuing the um, temporary permit here. Mm -hmm. uh, they signed a contract with the university also here. And as far as they uh, might have some problems with the documents or translations, we also are those who help them to manage this kind of uh, issues. Mm -hmm. Proprietary department and uh, like myself, we are responsible also for um, uh, holding the first uh, ex entering examination they have. Yeah. Like uh, they pass English because mm. uh, like they choose uh, English the program. Medium instruction. Mm. Uh, they have this uh, English exam in like in this walls mm. in here, mm. and after they've passed it, we like pass them to the Institute of Medicine and Biology mm. where they have the second the bio exam. exam. So, uh, I had the question in my mind. Uh, huh, so, why it is so important to create English examination? And I got to know that some students could not pass the exam also. Is it like that for Indian students? Do they need to be in preparatory department? Uh, well, uh, as far as I knew, most of the Indian students passed uh, exam the previous year successfully. Good. They are pretty good speakers mm. and uh, communicators. Mm. Uh, of course, like it depends also to the stress, the new country, and this kind of. They they sometimes they feel frustrated because yes. of the like new experience mm. and new environment. Mm -hmm. That might like influence the result. Mm -hmm. But in most cases, they. They just don't need any preparatory work. They only think that we have a law, like language law in Ukraine, and uh, every student who studies here should uh, study Ukrainian language. Mm. Like it's um, the part of the curriculum. Mm. And uh, those who study at the preparatory department, they uh, have a chance to study Ukrainian at A1 level, like to be prepared. And those who just come and enter at once, they just need some time to get used to Ukrainian because they will study with students who have experience in studying mm -hmm. Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. They are pretty good in English, but still they like they have this gap in yeah. Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. And it's like obvious that um, it's up to the university to create the conditions they uh, could like uh, fill this gap and uh, feel comfortable mm -hmm. in their study. So basically, it's one of the very big universities as I myself saw this university. So how many departments are there in this university? Well, uh, there are uh, 20 departments and I count like institutes and faculties. Okay. And uh, like... Uh, Tereshchenko National University prepares like a uh, specialist in variety of like mm. fields and spheres, mm -hmm. and like medicine is just one of them. But um, the specialties like international relations, like uh, engineering, like IT, is very popular like nowadays, and uh, more and more students come and require this kind of uh, specialties to study. So the diploma is in of this university is recognized all over the world. Yes, and uh, like there is a procedure as uh, we recognize the diplomas of the other universities 
was a, um, which students like uh, type with them. Mm. Uh, but yes, there is a procedure, and uh, like our diploma, we also have some problems of double diplomas mm. with some uh, European universities, mm. and uh, like our university uh, has the highest place in the world rank among all the Ukrainian universities. Okay. Uh, that's why, um, well, uh, the Russian University is like very popular very because popular. of that because uh, like international students they follow these ranks and mm. these rates and mm. uh, uh, they really want to study at the best okay. uh, one of the questions for the like future students i would like to ask how much uh, uh, time does it take for the visa extension and the english examination which you take here uh, like every year we start our entering campaign uh, on May 15th and this is the first day we uh, take the documents for the invitation letters. Uh, approximately like to issue the invitation letter because we cooperate with the Ministry of Education yes, of yes. course yeah. uh, it takes like approximately three five days maximum mm. but after we've sent the original of the invitation letter well, we are not responsible for this like for um, receiving the visa because uh, we uh, like we have some links and connections with our embassies all around the world, mm. but still uh, we have no tool, no instrument to influence their work. Mm. So it's uh, all up to the applicant to um, gather all the documents required with mm. our in, like invitation letter okay. and get the visa. And what about when they reach here in Ukraine? After that, how much time to start their classes? Uh, well, uh, we uh, start the classes um, on September the 1st. Yes, true. But of course, sometimes, the, um, especially when it's the international student, they can come like later in October or even in November. But we have the mechanisms for them to uh, get involved into the study process. Okay like that mm. and uh, uh, as for this um, like technical procedures so uh, if they have all the required documents for the app uh, like an application uh, forms ready and in the um, as it's required in our entry rules so it takes like half of an hour to apply oh. the document mm. after that they are sent to the exam mm. uh, we have uh, an entering exam like english entering exam every week like every tuesday or mm. every wednesday as mm. we had the previous mm. year mm. so it's pretty uh, it's not like one exam for the whole entering campaign mm. and you just have to be uh, exactly on that day okay. no mm. uh, like the procedure is pretty flexible mm. the students can pay semester wise fees structure you know, can they pay in semester? Uh, yeah, okay. there is a uh, ch like they choose, they uh, choose. the the way they pay. Okay. Uh, one more thing about the about the country, I would say how safe do you feel it is for the foreigners and especially for Indians? Uh, well. Uh, as far as I know and as I hear, like uh, all our um, foreign students, they feel pretty safe here because mm -hmm. like the people are like they got used to the foreigners, especially in big cities. Big and cities. Uh, like many people can uh, speak English. So mm -hmm. they uh, in most cases, when they live in the dormitory, they have this like a small community mm -hmm. that they can help each other and they can like communicate with Ukrainian students. Mm -hmm. And it's also mm, like pretty good uh, experience for our citizens just to uh, yeah. have these relations as I know like some of our students uh, play in a volleyball team with Ukrainian students so they interact they communicate mm. and um, I think like students it's just the community was very flexible mm. uh, in finding connections in mm. communicative like strategies mm. so they use it mm -hmm. and uh, mm. uh, even if um, uh, like Victoria and I when we had this uh, beautiful celebration of uh, Indian festival like all were involved all like Ukrainian students Indian students staff uh, all people who are connected to the university were involved and mm. it was just a so the, the Indians and the, the culture the uh, Ukrainians like the culture of Indians it's very popular nowadays, you know, uh, we have like many uh, yoga studios, we have many restaurants and the culture of uh, like Indian culture, 
becomes like pretty popular among Ukrainians. Mm. I must say that I am mm-hmm. just a huge fan of that. Have you ever visited yourself to India? No, but it's just in my big dream really okay. to do that. It's okay. pretty far, so <laughs> it has to be like prepared. Okay. Uh, to uh, in the May, I came here and it, it got really like students in the students were really looking forward to study here. And I must say the feedback of the students is really good. They are really happy with the strictness and everything. What is the worst condition in which a student can be expelled from the university? Uh, well, it, it's pretty hard. Uh-huh. So the foreign student should like try hard to be expelled. Because oh. of course we like give second chances and because like we understand they are mm. new country, new environment. Uh, some people it's pretty hard to get used to the new uh, mm. like situation. Mm. Mm. So uh, we try to um, to convince, we try to talk and the psychological support is also a pretty important part uh, mm. of their study. So you kind of give them chances to yeah, improve and you know, of course. Uh, uh, you know, whatever mistake they do, you give them chances. Okay. One uh, last question, um, how different is Taras Sevchenko from other universities in Kyiv, the other universities too? Um, Why a student should cho- choose a Taras Sevchenko? Okay, uh, so uh, our university is just a university with traditions, and uh, but also some uh, novelties, of course. We're trying to um, like to be on the top of um, modern strategies in studying, in teaching. Uh, we have lots of connections to the universities all over the world, mm. so we're exchanging experience. We are growing, mm. and we. Um, uh, like we create the uh, environment where the teachers, the professors, and the students can grow and can mm. reach the goals they um, they have in front of them. Mm. So, uh, also, uh, like the um, the staff and the uh, like technical um, conditions in the university mm. uh, give us a chance to say that. Uh, our university is just uh, one of the best about the study, about the support, and about the attitude. Mm. To the and you also focus students. a lot of uh, into the extracurricular activities. I saw there's gym also, there's swimming pool. Yes, there's sports. but also we organize like different kind of uh, trips, uh, excursions, uh, lectures. We um, like last year we um, visited, um, we invited uh, the practical like doctors who uh, work in Ukraine to like to share some experience mm. to the students. It's not the part of the curriculum, but still. It's just a good chance for them to to see um, mm-hmm. uh, for them to see those who achieved a lot in mm-hmm. the sphere they are interested in. Mm-hmm. And to encourage them and to uh, yeah, and to motivate them motivate to study, them. of course. Um, also, we are trying to um, to. Um, uh, like to you, uh, create a um, environment where the foreign students uh, would like to take part in some cultural and um, event in Ukraine. Like uh, we invite them to uh, some festivals in the Institute of Philology, where the, like the folk songs uh, are sung. We are inviting them to take part in. Um, well, in uh, the celebration of the birthday of our national uh, poet, like mm-hmm. these days, mm-hmm. the, at the beginning of March, though they uh, learn poems, they uh, uh, create videos mm-hmm. and Cultural they visit exchanges. museums. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, and we also create a like a platform for the uh, international students and Ukrainian students to exchange this kind of culture and traditions. That I think is one of uh, like the most important thing for them to mm. to feel comfortable and to start a successful. Uh, so, to, as you told that there's, there are exchange programs, uh, can you mention some universities or countries with whom you have? Uh, well, yes, uh, we have a kind of trainships, and it's uh, within the program Erasmus Plus, mm. uh, and we had. Um, Trainees from Japan, Slovakia, Netherlands, um, 
Germany, France, Italy, like a lot of them, I can mention like uh, almost all the countries of Europe mm. uh, because like I'm responsible for the issuing the invitation letters. Mm. I can say because I issued these invitation letters mm. to these so countries. So they were here? Yes, they, they come here for like uh, six months or a year mm. just to train, but our students also have a chance to go to these universities to mm. have the same. So same way they can also, yes. even, the, even the foreign, foreign students can go? Uh, well, it depends on the program, I guess, okay. and on the university. But we have like a whole department, it's called the mobility department. Uh, they are responsible for this kind of exchanges. And uh, well, I think that it's uh, uh, pretty okay just to ask them. Mm -hmm. And if a student, even a foreign student, is interested in that, uh, they can ask for the information and they will get it. Mm -hmm. That's right. So there is opportunity for every student to maybe go and yeah. excel in and other contexts. Yeah, and there are many students who use this chance. Hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. I think you have cleared some uh, uh, doubts and you know answered some questions which were even in our minds also. And definitely the students uh, would uh, take the information and maybe make a good decision by coming to this university. Yeah, it will be great. We are always welcome. Thank to, you so much. To see. Okay. I just didn't hear. Thank you.